there everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London and today I am doing my May book haul. It's a bit of a heavy stack, so bear with me. Wait, oh, oh, Jesus, oh God, I can't get the angle right. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to it. First on my pile is uh, something called Serial Killer. Read em and weep. And it's done by Pat Mills and Kevin O'Neill. And Pat Mills obviously is the comic um, creator um, who is associated with 2000 AD. And I actually had the fortunate, fortunateness, no, that's the wrong word. I, it was fortunate that he was at LBF one year and I met him and he's awesome. He's really cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when I heard about this, um, I absolutely grabbed at the idea of... Um, Programming it. Uh, basically, it's about the 1970s, a dangerous time for kids and even more dangerous time for adults. Meet comic book editor Dave Maudling, the world's laziest serial killer. Yeah, I know. I when I read every time I read it, I, when he, it just it makes me stop. I don't know why. The world's most cowardly serial killer. Actually, he's never killed anyone himself yet. His readers do his killings for him. Meet Jean, Dave's femme fatale mother. She's glamorous, she's dangerous, and she's dead. She wants him to solve her murder. Whoa, this is going to be good. I can't wait to read this. I love murders so good. In keeping with the mysterious lines of not inquiry, but books... There we go. I have here One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. And actually, this was um, recommended to me by the fabulous um, Ink Drop Books, which I will leave a link down below to her blog. And she said I should definitely give this a read. So here it is on my pile. Um, basically this is about five students walk into detention only for leave alive. Yale hopeful Brown has never publicly broken a rule. Sports star Cooper only knows what he's doing in a baseball diamond. Bad boy Nate is one misstep away from a life of crime. Prom queen Addie is holding together the cracks in her perfect life. And outsider Simon, creator of the notorious gossip app Bayview High, at Bayview High, won't ever talk about any of them again. He dies 24 hours before he could post their deepest secrets online. Investigators conclude it's no accident. All of them are suspects. Ooh. This is going to be a good one. I'm liking this. This is cool. Moving on to a different world. We are moving on to the space world. And this is Lost on Mars. And it's by Paul Magnus. Absolutely stunning cover. Love this. This is so cool. Uh, basically, this is about May once said, Mars doesn't want us here. This whole world wants us to go back to where we came from the planet is rejecting us and trying to kill us off oh dear. <laughs> laura and her family are third generation settlers on the red planet clinging to life on a small holding in a desert landscape surviving storms and rumors of sinister disappearances until one night laura sees the dancers when they when tragedy strikes Laura and her family set out to seek a new life across the plains, but none of them are ready for what they find. That sounds really cool. Can't wait to read this. It's a bit big, but I cannot wait. Next I have something I've been in anticipating for a very long time, and it's finally in my hands. Look, I'm giving you a sneak peek. What is it? Um, it's called When Dimple Met Rishi and it's by Santhya Menon. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. 
so sorry. Um, <laughs> meet Dimple. Her main aim in life is to escape her traditional parents, get to university, and begin her plan for tech world domination. Meet Rishi. He's rich, good looking, and a hopeless romantic. His parents think Dimple is the perfect match for him, but she's got other plans. Dimple and Rishi may think they have each other figured out, but sometimes when opposites clash, love works even harder to prove itself in the most unexpected ways. Oh, this is going to be a good summer read. Although, I would say the weather in London is not depicting summer at the moment. We need to change this weather. Change it. I can't understand this rain. I need some sun. Anyway, <laughs> next on my list is Aurabelle by Laura Dockrell. And I read Lorelei a while ago and I actually have to put up my review. So that's, this is reminding me to do something. Um, <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. And uh, this is, she says it's not really a sequel, but it's slightly like a sequel. Um, but it's moving on to a different person in the same world, basically. Um, so left for dead sharpening her fangs rebuilding a mechanical tail training her beasts mastering her strength setting her sights on the throne setting her sights on revenge two years after Lorelei surfaces in surfaced can't speak today in Hastings the well has become a hotbed of underwater politics tension below threatens to break up Lorelei's quiet life on land as a normal teenager and dangers lurk even closer for the everyday mer and Aurabelle, a plucky mer from the wrong side of the trench better watch out Ooh, sounds great i can't wait to read it <laughs> um next on the list is from something from an event i went to um which was basically three authors of quirk books um, the publisher and this one is called Wonder Woman Woman Wonder Women God I can't speak and this is uh, written by Sam Meggs but the illustrations because there are quite a few of them in there is done by Sophia Foster de Nemo and this is basically about 25 in innovators, inventors and trailblazers who changed history and who are all women and their stories and I absolutely love that because it's not only sort of um she not only does the obvious uh stories of amazing women but she also <laughs> does the very very unknown uh stories of those women so I cannot wait to dig into this next I have something that I was at an event for um of Maria Tetsnanov and also Laura Duckle as well. Um, so it was for Aurabelle and um, uh, Maria Tetsnanov's new book, uh, which is No. I'm going to say this wrong, and I'm sorry, Maria. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no one, no one, non. Jesus, Nundal. I'm going to say Nundal, and it's part of the Red Abbey. Uh, Chronicles but it's actually not if those of you have read Maressi it's not after Maressi it's before Maressi so yeah but she says to read Maressi first and then this one so just there's a, some a little advice on the reading um, but basically this follows in the opulent palace of Ohinden women have one purpose to obey some were brought here as girls, captured and enslaved, some as servants, some as wives. All of them must do what the master tells them, for he wields a deadly and secret power. But the women have powers too. One is a healer, one can control dreams, one is a warrior, and one can see everything that is coming. <gasps> Sounds so good. I can't wait to read this. I'm about like halfway through Mercy and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. 
definitely go read it. So yeah, I, I'm going to get stuck into this next month. For sure. <laughs> next on my list is something I acquired when I went to the fabulous event at Piccadilly that was um, uh, done by Stephen Haskins. Thank you Stephen for this event. It was amazing. And basically it was, for those of you who don't know who Alan Lee is, he basically illustrated and created a l most of what you see in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. I know, he's an amazing man. I absolutely stumbled over words when I went up to get my book signed. <laughs> um, so that was, yeah, that was great. I was just like, oh, so what are you working on? Like an absolute weirdo. But anyway, um, so I got, um, this is his latest release from the Tolkien world and it's Baron and Luthien's story. Uh, done by J.R. Tolkien, but obviously his illustrations are throughout. So I'll just have it show you a sneak peek of a cool, really cool illustration. So there's one. They're absolutely stunning. They're just amazing. And he basically, for the whole event, he went through all his illustrations for The Hobbits and nearly all... Um, the illustrations and the Tolkien works he's done so yeah and it's signed so cute and I can't wait to get stuck into this um so this is gonna be great um last but not least I have here we go this book oh I can't speak I can't speak today the spectacular sisterhood of superwoman and awesome female characters from comic book history and this is by Hope Nicholson and I met her at um, the Quack Book events events event which is the publisher of this book and she very nicely signed it so cool and I absolutely can't wait to read this so basically it's a bit self-explanatory it's a history of women in comics and obviously she couldn't do every single woman but um she ranges from comics from the 1930s all the way up to modern day and those famous ones like Wonder Woman and stuff like that so yeah this is gonna be a great history to read it will also give me a lot of like more understanding of the comic uh history and also women's part in that history so yeah I cannot wait to read that and that is everything on the list, list pile, list pile, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new to my channel, you can click the subscribe button below to see more of me talk about books, films, TV shows and comics. And I hope you have a fantastic day, although it doesn't look like it here in London. Um, <laughs> I will see you again soon for another video. Bye guys. Keep geeking.